What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo. And I made a video a while back talking about how many black cards you're actually going to need to be able to triple S A2, to double S 92B, and to double S 9S. Because I believe, as far as your bang for your buck, you're going to get the most optimal damage out of those characters if you have them leveled up to that amount. But A2 really is the heart and soul of the near collaboration because whenever you get her to triple S, she has a 70% damage reduction. That's just absolutely nuts. Whether you're using her with 2B or whoever else, She's a physical damage dealing character and we have a lot of physical supports. We have other characters that you could team up with her. So really, she's going to be your primary goal unless you're just a fan of Nier Clab and you're going to go for all of them. But something that I discovered, well actually I didn't discover, I actually shout out to YY in my Discord for letting me know about this. But you actually do get free shards along the way as far as leveling up A2. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So in the story mode... You'll actually play all this story mode here and everything, and you're going to be able to get 50 shards for this character. You'll be acquiring these tokens, and you're going to get 50 shards for her. I've already collected the 50 shards, and whenever a character is at S rank, you need 50 shards to actually obtain them. So when I scroll down here to A2, you see the 50 here. I hit obtain, and I would collect the character. Now, I haven't collected the character because I'm actually debating on something, and let me show you what I'm debating on. The thing is, whenever you pull in this banner, okay, let me scroll over here. Whenever you pull into the near collaboration banner for the near collaboration characters, it actually will only cost you 10,000 black, 10,500 black cards to be able to get this character. After 60 attempts, you're going to get the character 100% guaranteed. Every 10 pulls, you get three for free, which means that it's going to cost you 10,500 every 60 attempts for your character, right? Well, the thing is, if you spend 10,500 black cards in here and you get A2, She's already S rank. You're already going to have the character. And guess what? You've already fallen 50 shards from the event for free. So it only takes 30 shards to take a character from S to double S. And you're going to be able to farm 50 shards. So you're actually going to be able to get the character here. You'll be able to use the shards that you farm, take her up to double S. And you're still going to have 20 shards left over. Now, let me show you something that's pretty cool. So you're going to have 20 shards left over, right? She's going to be a double S, but check this out. In the event... Whenever she's double S, she gets another 30 shards. So you got 20 shards left over. You got another 30 shards here. You only need 40 more shards to take her to triple S. So you could do a couple different things. You could either wait till the rerun because there will be a near collaboration rerun and pull for her then. But I don't know if you're going to get the, you know, three pull, three free pulls every 10. I don't know if that's going to be in place in the rerun or not. Or if you are willing to spend some money, okay, just, just just an idea to throw out at you guys. If you are willing to spend some money, you can actually get her shards from here. There's 10 shards right here, and there's 30 shards right here. That's 40 shards. So if you had 21,000 black cards, and, or I'm sorry, if you had 10,500 black cards, you get the character, you use the 50 shards that you got for free, you take her up to double S, You'll have 20 shards left over. You'll get 30 more shards from the event. You only need 40 shards more. You could get the 40 shards from here if you really wanted to. And this is about 75 American dollars. And you can have the character Triple S. 10,500 black cards and 75 American dollars. Now, if you're free to play, obviously you're going to want to save as many black cards as possible. Even if you use 21,500 black cards, or I'm sorry, 21,000 black cards, that still won't be enough. You'll still be 10 shards shy of getting her to Triple S. But if you had 21,000 black cards, say, and you pull for her twice, if you wait for the rerun, you'll be able to get shards again easily for her, and you'll be able to take her to triple S. So I just wanted to throw this out at you guys. It's actually pretty wild. I mean, 9S is also in here. But I mean, like I said, A2 is the heart and soul of the Nier Collaboration character. If you don't have that character at triple S, the Nier Collaboration team will not do near as much damage as you would you'd really expect from them they're not going to outshine alpha and her teams if you don't have a2 at triple s she absolutely needs it to get that 70 percent damage reduction but i just wanted to throw these ideas out at you guys and just let you know that more than likely an event like this one right here will show up and you will be able to level up this character much cheaper than what i actually anticipated in my original video so let me know your plan as far as collaboration characters are concerned. I'm actually debating on what I want to do because I do have 16,500 black cards. If I pull for A2, this is a free-to-play account, then I'm not going to have any black cards for 2B. And I, I kind of want to have all three characters because this is just an account that I have a lot of fun with. I'm not trying to be competitive. I'm not trying to do the most damage possible. So I really, for me, I'd just rather have all the characters. But maybe for you, you might want to just focus on A2 whenever she shows up. 
But let me know how y'all feeling about this tidbit information. You know, what are you going to do when the near collaboration shows up? I mean, I would highly advise everybody, and I said this in the last video as well, save as many black cards as you can because you're obviously going to need a whole crap ton of them when you get these characters. But it's not as bad as I originally thought because they are giving, you know, shards for these characters. It's kind of funny, actually. In here, you'll see that they actually have 9S here as well. But, I mean, you got to get 9S to double S in order to get these shards. So you still got to pull for them an extra time to get them to double S no matter what. And 2B here is kind of the same thing, right? 2B, you're going to have to pull for twice no matter what because in order to get her to double S, you got to pull for her twice in order to get these 30 shards. But it's not as expensive as I originally thought because I didn't know that these shards were actually available. This here is going to be pretty much useless unless you're a massive whale. But even A2, when you take her to triple S, right? When you take her to triple S, You'll get an extra 60 shards, but you're going to need a whole lot more than that to take your Triple S Plus. Triple S is really all you need. So let me know how you're all feeling about this tidbit of information about the near collaboration characters, especially A2. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GNT Plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See ya.